I'm Kristina Lindström and I'm a film director and a journalist and an author. <laughs> uh, so I work in, in different areas. And this is our, I mean, I think it's our fourth film together. And my name is Christian Petri. I'm a writer. I'm a film director working in both fiction and documentaries. And uh, well, obviously, I co-directed this film together with Christina. The starting point for the film is about Björn Andresan, the Swedish young actor. He was only 15 years old when he played the role as Tadzu in Looking in Visconti's Death in Venice. And that's what changed his life forever. And what, and this, what happened with this film and with him after that is, is the story about the film and, and how this film and this Tadzu picture shadow his, the rest of his life. It's a story about obsession of beauty and of desire and of sacrifice. It's a kind of me too story, if you want. It's put in that context. And uh, it is also a universal story in, in that um, aspect that it's dealing with family secrets and with your upbringing and mothers, fathers, uh, children, and how to protect children. He's proud that it has gained a lot of attention because he, he he really thinks it's an important story if he can share it, his experience with other four other people, young persons. It was a very nice situation when we first showed it to him. We were sitting in a, in a small uh, cinema in the Swedish Film Institute uh, and uh, we were sitting behind him, you know, way back and he was sitting in, at himself, you know, and, of course, we were very nervous, uh, but afterwards he just said, oh, I, it was two and a half hours long, one hour longer than this version. And he said, oh, I wish it could have been longer. He said, <laughs> I wish it could have been longer. Yeah. <laughs> me too is me too, but the, the questions have been there all the time. And that, that's not nothing new. It's not new for me. And the aspects and the way of thinking is not new. It's, uh, but it it has brought a lot of attention, of course, to this film. I, I guess in in the way that 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 this this is a story with a boy, not with a girl. But still, the abuse of power. There's a lot of mechanisms that are the same, you know. Uh, so I think you could, and, and Bjorn also relates to young girls uh, in the model business and in the film business that, you know, share his destiny or, uh, you know, it's, it's very much the same. When Visconti entered his life, he, he was, had like godlike proportions. He, he was, you know, and he, he was from, he, he was actually a sort of, came from a royal family. He had this upbringing, he had all his power, he had everything. And then he met Björn, and then when they two met, you know, it was, that was the sort of beginning of this saga, or at least in this film. Definitely, because that, that was a very, very strong vision we had. And when we also talked about the film first with Björn, we had this vision, this is going to be a cinematic film. We, we don't want it to be to be talking heads. We want it to, to be in different layers, a, a, a strong visual impact on you. So that things that you can reflect on, uh, not only things that you tell the people, like literal tell things, because this, because human beings are complicated and life is complicated. And also the, the wide format was also one of the first things we we, yeah. um, we choose to have the, because it uh, is quite unusual in documentaries, but we wanted it to have, you know, the same kind of impact as on, on a large fiction film. Yeah, and, and, also, and also to sort of heighten the, the importance of his story and his life, you know. So, yes, so. to bring the boy in another light, in another film with impact. European cinema has its own traditions and its own uh, 
ways, I think, uh, culture-wise. I mean, you can note it now since we've been here in the U.S. talking about the film. You know, I think they have a different context and a different way of looking at films. Thank you.